You're not feeling good? Are you sick? I don't want to hear it. You have to pretend to be healthy. I don't feel it good. You don't feel good? Wow, how it all goes. Then you can fade and die afterwards, you know? One of the girls gave me a Benadryl. You let a girl give you a pill. <laughs> Y'all competition. No, it, it was... <laughs> Hopefully, Bree does not take the bait. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where one of the girls is extremely sick during the photo shoot, nobody seems to care, and then during judging, they try to turn the, the model that was sick on her friend that tried to help her while she was sick. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Do you have a favor? I'm dreading the day because I have a photo shoot. On top of that, I don't feel good. I have a fever and a migraine. It don't get no worse than this. I'm so hot, I got a fever, I got cramps. She shouldn't be going to the photo shoot or out if she's feeling like that. J Lag giving me some medicine, and the medicine makes me super drowsy. Oh no. And actually makes my, my migraine worse. In here, guys. And they have a photo shoot. Hey. Hello. All right, so you girls obviously have heard about Bollywood, right? Bollywood films are known to be larger than life, you know, ornate costumes, lots of color. That's what you guys are gonna do today, a Bollywood-style inspired photo shoot. There's gonna be lots of people. So the real challenge here today is- Lots of people, and <laughs> Bree is not feeling good. Who knows, what if she's contagious? You don't, she's gonna be around all these people. It's in not only her best interest, but everyone's best interest if she's just home to rest for this one. Already, we're starting this off wrong. So the real challenge here today is, can you stand out in a crowd? Are you gonna bring your face to the forefront and be noticed, or are you gonna fade into the background? Now, you guys have I'm gonna a fade into the, the other day. Who won it? Nick. All right, so Nick, you actually get to go last today, and you have 100 frames, which means you get to see what the other three girls have done, and you get to learn from it. Nicole, you get to go second last, you have 80 frames. Jayla, you get to have 60 frames, and you get to go second. But Brie, you get to go first, and you're not gonna get an opportunity to look at yourself after you've come out of hair and makeup. So you've kind of got everything fighting against you today. Now your photographer is and someone her that you may know, but what you don't know is the personal Nigel. reason behind why Tyra. he wanted oh. to do this photo shoot, all right? Come on out, Nigel. Nigel, Hi, I knew it. Hi. How are you? Wait, 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 surprise, wait, wait. This, 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 this is not right. Well, you you were supposed to do the whole Bollywood thing. We you, talked you about it. Okay, if it's, me for okay. Days. Yeah, exactly, you there you go, there's the Bollywood thing. What did anyway. he say? <laughs> what did he say he's been trying to undress me? <laughs> What? We He's talked been waiting about this. to undress me for days. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There's the ball. Okay, it's a little early, anyway, don't you think? Good to see you. Finally, we get to work together. I'm half Sri Lankan. My mother is Sri Lankan. My father is English. So the whole Bollywood theme Aww. and what India means oh, to England so cool. is very sort of deep in my heart. I'm a little nervous at first because Nigel is a judge on panel, and if you impress Nigel, it could be an amazing thing. But if you don't, it could be a very damaging situation. I love how there's no mirror in front of Brie. They took it away. They're like, I pack that one up, boys. We're not going to need that. Get rid of any reflective surface. So if you didn't watch my last video on this, they had these ghosties and Brie, basically, she she was basically last in the ghosties. And so they told her that she only gets 50 frames and then she can't see herself in hair and makeup during the photo shoot at any point. So those were like her punishments, I guess. So, yeah. And on top of this, she's very sick right now. Baby. Are you not feeling good? Are you sick? I don't want to hear it. You have to pretend to be healthy. I don't feel it, good. You don't feel good? You, have to pre you don't want to hear it, and you have to pretend to be healthy. How does one pretend to be healthy while they're uh, sick? He really just told her pretend to be healthy. Okay, that, that's what's going to, yes, that is, thank you so much for that. That's going to boost my immune system for sure. I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, like you got a cold? I keep getting fevers and migraines. Do you take anything for your headache today? Jayla gave me some Benadryl, and that's about Benadryl. it. Benadryl? And some Tylenol PM. 
Whoever gave her that Benadryl is trying to Wrong. screw her up because she is so draggy today and exhausted. You save all that energy, so when you are on set, wow, how it all goes. Then you can fade and die afterwards, oh. you know? I'm not really feeling well today. And then you can fade and die afterwards? What is going on? Are, am I hearing you guys? No. No. I have to rewind. Hold on. No. Am I hearing this correctly? Did they Are they being... They're so dismissive of her vocalizing that she's not feeling well. Okay? She, look, she looks... She doesn't even look well. I'm looking at this one still of her. She looks sick to me. She doesn't look well at all. They just don't care. They literally do not care. And they don't care how obvious it is that they don't care. She literally tells Mr. J, I keep getting fevers and migraines. What does he do with this information? He goes and starts gossiping with another model and saying, oh, you know, whoever gave her that Benadryl, you know, because she's deathly sick. Yeah, they're trying to sabotage her. Ha ha. It's so funny. It's hilarious that she's feeling like this and you you acted like you cared but you really don't care you're just using it as gossip i'm not really feeling well today just so happens that i would only have 50 frames at my photo shoot i'm not allowed to look at myself so i have no clue what i look like really concentrate on the camera what it is i'm trying to get you to to really pop from within keep in mind again you only have 50 frames keep in mind she's sick keep the fingers like that eyes to me everybody let's make bollywood happy Let's no, make Bollywood happy. There. That's good. If Brie had won the challenge, she could have used those extra 50 wow. frames. Wow. Come on, make me proud. Eyes to me, Brie, always. She's doing amazing. Last frame, Brie. Really concentrate, everybody. Thank you very much. She did amazing. Shot one down. It was kind of hard dealing with the fact that I couldn't get as many frames as the other girls and that I couldn't see myself. Brie was not here today. Brie left the building. Actually, I don't think Brie entered the building. Okay, guys, everybody focus. It's, but he doesn't explain why. He's like, yeah, she does. She's not here right now. You know, you're missing a crucial part of why that is. Mr. J, could it be? I'm just speculating here. Maybe Brie is not fully present. Stay with me or stay with me. You're almost there, Mr. J. Because she's sick in London. Think about it and get back to me. Think about it. When I'm sick, I cannot function. My body needs to rest. I can't imagine getting up out of bed to come stand next to these people with uh, 20 soft boxes in my face, having a fan blow cold air on me while I pose in complete hair and makeup next to 20 strangers that probably don't know that I'm sick and then having flashes go off every 10 seconds. Okay, guys, everybody focus. <laughs> Jayla, just relax the mouth a little bit like that. And his chin down and that eyes to me really, let, really ooze with your eyes. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing because the more and more I think about what they're saying to me, the more and more it makes me nervous. And now try with the face more. Jayla's expression is this. <laughs> Leave her alone. And for a top model to give me that same flat, boring then face direct her. time and time again, I don't think you can honestly step out into that world with one expression. Jayla, I need your face to go from just pretty to having that little extra something that makes people go, wow. You know, Jayla's a brave pretty girl. Something. She gets made up, she looks amazing. But I didn't feel that she was really having fun with it. Own this shot. What's fun Nayla, about Jayla. this? <laughs> I got the same. Everyone's just everyone is just standing and one everyone's like doing their own thing. It's a be it looks like a beautiful setup. But what's where's where's the fun in in it? Really, everyone's just kind of standing around. Now what they should have done is they could have had everybody dancing and moving around and then had the model stand and stand still and then got that got the movement shots, like maybe even a long exposure type thing that could be so cool, right? Instead of everyone just kind of just standing and holding the pose. It's boring. I'm bored watching this. I'm sure the models are also bored posing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Bollywood is, is it just like, it, it's not just in India, right? It's in other countries like Bangladesh and uh, Sri Lanka. Like, please educate me on this because I'm not really sure. But is it, ju yeah, just in that one region or is it other countries? Also, if you're from one of those countries, what do you think of this photo shoot? What's your opinion? I would love to hear from you guys. Own this shot. And there you go, Jayla. 
I got the same comments that I get every single one of my photo shoots. So I'm like, oh great, my photo shoot sucks. I think everyone wants to do especially well today because Nigel is a judge. All right, let's go. Serious faces all around. Eyes are the only thing that glitter. Beautiful. Chickens have some fan. Turn that fan up high for me, please. That fan. Open the eyes. Please. Can you come even further down? Gorgeous. Makes you look more relaxed. I didn't think that Nicole was really going to be as good as she was. No fan, though. Can we release that fan? Oh my god, so that really is stepped up again. so strong. What this competition is it's about, like max it's power, about the fan. Time and time again. Not because of Nigel or anything, because I'll be damned if I'm going to blow his head up bigger than it is. But Nicole, that was like your best shoot ever. Try and give me something pretty face on. Okay. Nick. Are you ready? Small look. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Really moving well. Really. She look she looks incredible. Nick. Wow. Really moving well. Really moving well. Nice guys. Everybody's doing a good job. Nick had the hundred frames. Shot number one, gorgeous. Shot number two, gorgeous. Shot number three, flawless. Nick didn't even need those extra frames today. Okay, guys. Last She's doing frame. very well. I agree. Woo! All right. Wow. She, oh my God, she looks spectacular. The photo shoot felt very boring and just, okay, everyone's just kind of standing there. There's a lot of people just standing around. That's that's what it felt like. I feel like everyone took a Benadryl on this photo shoot because it just seemed like the energy was down to the ground. Now this week, you guys learned about four influential fashions. Did you not? You're gonna be put to the test. There's an item that is inspired London designers that waits in the back for you right now. Is it you money? Have three minutes to take that item and update it to modern fashion. Are you ready? Go! Update it to modern fashion. Okay. They're not going to be happy with any of these. Alrighty, first but Nick's Nicole. looks good too. They're so not gonna Nicole, like this. You had to do something with a sari that's modern. Give it a twirl, darling. A twirl. I like that the booty's out. <laughs> it looks like you fell in the curtains or something. <laughs> All wrapped up like a cat. <laughs> what are you expecting? You're too much of yourself. Uh, I'm with Nigel. I would just take everything off and just tie it up. So when you turned around, we got bare back and the little butt cleavage. Then it would be good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so horny. Oh, you know. Alrighty, Nicole, here is your best shot. Okay. <laughs> the girls did this in like three seconds and then the judges are really, they're really taking this too seriously. They're like, oh, you know, it's just the dimensions, you know, the, the fabric and the way that you draped it is just, we're not seeing the life and the behind the eyes. Of, they did this in two seconds, okay? It's not that deep. Let's move on. Alrighty, Nicole, here is your best shot. Well okay. This poor woman that they covered up with with Nicole's name. Look at she's she's trying you know, she's gonna show this to her family, like, Mom, I was in a photo shoot for America's Next Top Model and she's blacked out. It's just it's kinda throwing me off that this side, the women are like bordering this side, and then here the, it's like all this empty space here. It's just not it doesn't seem balanced. You couldn't add like three crew members here. You couldn't add anyone. Where where was the the stylist who said uh, pretend to be healthy? You could have had him back there. Well, for me, you photographed all the way through the competition brilliantly. I mean, you are very very photogenic. I don't see nothing really intense about that picture. I just really yeah. I, she could be much more beautiful personally for me up close. I have to one hundred percent disagree with Miss J. You have never had this much range. I mean, I don't know what to choose. You had one where you were like this, and then 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 I was like, girl, you better work. This is your best. Mama is proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. All right, up next is Brie. Okay. Well, I don't really know, but it looks the most traditionally sari-ish. It's not a modern take. It is actually very straightforward. And hey, that's you. And no shoes. Hey, that's you. No All right, Brie. So you guys oh. had a fun. Oh my God, that was white. Oh my God, Brie, God help, God help Brie in this episode. She's she, Brie is taking punches left and right this episode. Oh my God, from the from the go sees 
to that from to here. And no shoes. No shoes. All right, Brie. So you guys had a photo. She's like, all right, Brie. Where you had to be a face in a crowd. Here's your best shot. Wow. Okay, she did good. The way it was shot is really cool. It looks like a TV promo picture. It's cool. Well, actually, you do jump out. The, my eyes went straight to you. That was the challenge. You got it, girl. Oh, sounded all Yes, Twiggy. <laughs> Brie, so because cute. you are a little bit shorter than the average model, you have to remember your neck because that's the one thing that makes this photo not a 10 is that your neck looks short. Jay said that um, that you weren't the same Brie that he's used to seeing. And don't take a Benadryl before a photo shoot. It'll make you tired. You took a Benadryl? I thought it was like an allergy, like a sinus infection. Mm -hmm. And so um, one of the girls gave me a Benadryl. You let a girl give you a pill? <laughs> Your competition. No, it, it was. <laughs> you let your competition give you a pill, girl. But I don't have any medicine to take while I'm out here, and I keep getting sick. So. Mm -hmm. Up next is Nick. Does anyone realize what's going on here? They are trying to villainize this very nice gesture that one of the girls did by giving Brie a Benadryl. She's trying to help her out. She sees that she's sick. She's like, "Hey, I might have something. Here you go." And they're trying to paint that like, oh, I think she was maybe, could she have tried to sabotage you? Let me, let's rewatch this, okay? Just pay attention to who they pan to while they're, they're talking about, oh, you took a Benadryl? Don't let someone give you Benadryl. Just watch who they pan to. And so, um... One of the girls gave me a Benadryl. You let a girl give you a pill. You let a girl give you a pill? <laughs> your competition. No, your competition. <laughs> and they pan to who? You let your competition give you a pill, girl. Who did they pan to? Jayla. Why? They're trying to paint Jayla as someone who is trying to sabotage Brie. It's all about creating doubt and making the models doubt the, each other. And this creates tension. This creates drama. They want Brie to question Jayla's motives and giving her the Benadryl. They want her to doubt that this was genuinely just her trying to be nice. They're trying to villainize this. If you're so concerned with what she was taking, then why don't you guys step in and give her something to help with her fever if you actually cared? No, you left her to her own devices. She had no other choice than to go to her friends, the, the models on the show, and ask them for something. To me, that's the kind of most modern, unique way of... I wouldn't have known it was a sari, actually. But I've got to tell you one thing. You picked a colour that's good for your skin. You've got a modern twist on something. I think you look beautiful. All right, Nick, so you had a photo shoot where you had to stand out in a crowd, and here's your best shot. I like it because it's wow. got that kind of... You've done, like, that Indian she looks dance great. do with the head. It's lovely. Oh, like, pushed it to the side. Yeah. Isolation. That's what it looks like to me. To me, a photograph is the eyes, and her eyes are fantastic. I mean, that's the first thing you look at. You were the challenge winner. You won the challenge this week, which meant that you got 100 frames. And that worked because your film was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. In fact, you didn't need that many frames, to be honest with you. Why is everybody seeing that now? I ain't seeing it. I'll give you some glasses. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Alrighty. she did good. And last but not least is Jayla. Jayla. So Jayla, you have to make a sorry modern. And you put about 20 pounds of weight on your body. <laughs> How did you manage to do that? You should have wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it so you couldn't breathe. It was okay, like that. Okay, that's not a good felt. idea. How oh, you walked in like that. I think the color you was fantastic. Like... <laughs> oh my She's God. She's got a good mama over there trying to give her baby something positive. Yeah. All right, Jayla, so you had a photo shoot. And here's your best shot. Okay, where is Jayla? Oh, she's over here. Why? Okay, all the other girls are in the middle, and then you put her to the to the side. And where I thought I was looking at her at first. I was like, why is she pointed this way? And then why is there a whole crowd of people here? Why? Why is Jayla all the way over here? What's what's the po everyone else is in the middle? Everyone else is in the middle, but Jayla. Is she going home? Is she the one they're eliminating? It's just, it's not fair. You got to keep the same energy for all the girls' pictures. You can't have every girl in the middle except Jayla. Where is she? You don't stand out as much as I would have liked. She's she is on the side. To, to pop. Well, I guess since she didn't pop, she pooped. 
the two women were standing so close to me. When I was standing there and like practicing my positions, I kept almost hitting them in the face. That's just what I would have done. Stretched my hands right across their face. Really? Faces. Because it was your picture. Yeah, I was afraid to like get in their way. Your yes. Picture. You're supposed to say, you're my backup dancers, now backup bitches. And you should have offered them a Benadryl. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Jim. Trying to fan the flames there, I see. Wow. Notice how they bring up the Benadryl with Jayla. So they're, and again, it's like the insinuation that she's up to no good with this Benadryl. Hopefully, Brie does not take the bait. And Tyra was saying, move back, bitches. Re You're going to say that to a bunch of strangers you just met that are posing with you? during a photo shoot that you want them to act professional on they're always talking about how the girls need to be so professional but then you're giving them advice like this Jayla is not responsible for the placement of the models around her all the other girls in their pictures had space they were the main focus of the photo they were in the middle they were placed in the middle Jayla was the only girl who was on the side that was squished in between people ask yourself why this is this in my opinion, is a setup. They didn't want her to do well. <laughs> Thanks, Jayla. Oh, she's Now it's time for pissed. the judges to deliberate. And when I call you back, she knows what they're doing. Jayla knows what they're doing. She, I could see it in her face. She was just kind of like, it was like that look where it's like, I can't believe this. Did you guys see that? For them to just keep bringing up the Benadryl thing is just, it's such a nasty thing to do. She was trying to do something nice by offering Brie something. At least she was doing more than what you guys were doing. What did you guys offer Brie? You didn't offer her anything. You offered her empty words. You made fun of her. You were gossiping about the fact that she was sick. Did you offer her anything? No. So actually Jayla did more than what you guys were doing. It's worth noting that um, from some of the scenes I saw, like Nick was helping Brie. So it wasn't just Jayla. But I think I'm pretty sure it was like the other girls who were collectively helping Brie. All I'm saying is the models were helping her, but production was not. No one else was helping her. Now it's time to decide which one of these girls should go home. Brie. It's the I'm Benadryl lady. Thrown because she should go. Brie didn't photograph very well in the beginning of the competition for me. But this week and last week, her photographs have been beautiful. This is a, you know, a, a competition about improving, so I think it is a good thing that she's finally taking great pictures. Brie is growing, but she's not growing in height, and she's not going to get any taller. She's not That's growing in height. never take off her shoes, <laughs> even when she sleeps. <laughs> she's short. Jayla. Jayla felt very weak for me today. I keep seeing something in Jayla and then not seeing something, and then I saw something, and then just somewhere on the line today, what are you she seeing? disappeared. What is By it? Herself, she's stunning. She's got classic looks, you know, beautiful blue eyes. I think she's a goddess. I think she's gorgeous. I feel like Jayla's shrinking. I feel like she had such strong confidence in the beginning, and as the competition is getting tighter, it's almost like I'm looking at her and she's like going, Tyra, why am I still here? But I don't I really think she's, girl, she would say that. So much. Nicole. Do you? Nicole managed to come to set and light it up. Light it up. Light it up. I just don't see her lit. I think I don't she's see her a fabulous lit. looking girl. She's pretty. She's gorgeous. She takes a nice photo. <laughs> Nick. I think she's gorgeous. This is the beauty of all time. This girl is going to be super, superstar. Her main problems are... Her main problems. I don't think she has that bitchy element. And she's lacking the sex appeal. But she does take a good picture. She does. But Did she just say models, she's lacking... I'll take good pictures. ...a bitchy course, element? That's the job. What do you have that's that special something that tips the balance? And that's why it's getting so tricky now, right? It's really difficult. So wait, wait. <laughs> Didn't you guys used to go after the girls who you said had any kind of little attitude? And then now Nigel is basically saying, like, she's lacking. What is it? The bitch. She, what is it? What did she say? That's crazy that he would say that, though. Any girl who expresses an opinion, you guys shoot them down. OK. Or you guys say that they're being aggressive or. I don't know. <laughs> too opinionated. I don't know. It is crazy. That, that's that's what's missing for Nigel. It's either going to be Brie or Jayla going home. I really can't tell for this one. Before we see who gets eliminated for no reason, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I always laugh when I say that. <laughs> it's like, it really is for no reason. If you think about it, it comes down to nothing. 
Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. You can bring your vision to life. I currently have my photography website using Squarespace and what I love the most about it is if I ever want to change up the look of my website, I can do that with a click of a button using one of the many designer templates that they offer. You can see how your website looks before it even goes live. You can test out different templates, see how your website looks. That's one feature that I love. Another feature is the gallery options that they offer. For a photographer, it's very important how my images look on my website. I can have them stacked, I can have them as a carousel. I can show before and afters of whatever I want. I can even adjust the space between each picture with just a simple slider. You can even make a store on Squarespace. You can sell your digital goods. You can sell merch. Whatever you're thinking, you can do so using Squarespace. And another feature that I love is the calendar availability. You can show this to your clients. It shows a calendar of what days you have available and they can book you through that, which I think is super, super helpful, especially as a photographer. But you don't have to be a photographer to be using Squarespace. If you're an artist or anyone who has a vision for something, you can use Squarespace for that. If you have a vision for something, make it happen with Squarespace. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All the information will be in the description. I only have one photo in my hands and I will call only one Are they going to bring up name. the Benadryl situation? The girl that I do not call must immediately return back to your hotel, pack your belongings, and go home. Bree, you started off rough. You wanted to take a good picture, but couldn't really take a fierce picture to save your life. But you have progressed, you have learned. You've absorbed this whole experience like a sponge and have improved. But there's one thing lacking with you, Bree, and that's height. And the judges just aren't sure that your amazing that. progress is enough to overcome that. Taylor, and you had a vivacious, strong, great personality when you came in here. But something happened. It's almost like you don't believe in yourself anymore. We see the doubt when you walk in here. That's your doubt, Tyra. Top models Tyra. aren't short, and they definitely don't doubt. Top them. models aren't short? Oh my god. Why, why are you bringing up her height? to compensate for your lack of height you need to be more striking and that much more personal. to compensate for your lack of height but we see a little something special in you the voiceover thank you we They're see something special in you but you're but you're too short and top models are not that short and you're lacking in height what do you want her to do do you want her to just grow a few more inches well she can't change her height so them bringing it up is just so, it's pointless. You picked her out of however many girls. You knew what her height was. It's not like her height changed. It's not like she got shorter when she entered the competition. Oh, you well, you were uh, 5'11 and now you're 5'8. What's going on? She was always the same height. You knew she was that height. And now you're going to use it against her and complain about her. Are they going to mention the Benadryl to Jayla as she exits? Um, and next time, don't give out Benadryl and don't try to help people who are sick. Okay, leave that to us because we will do nothing. And that's what you should have done. I love that she still hugged her. Don't believe the Benadryl rumors. That's right, walk away. See, she knew she wasn't going to go hug Tyra after all that. I love that. I'm just so relieved to see the Brie and Jayla hug at the end after the be the whole Benadryl thing and they're trying to make it seem like it was she was trying to sabotage her feels like there's it feels like they're they're good they're good hopefully do you agree with Jayla being eliminated leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video